What is the best exercise for fat loss? The best exercise for fat loss is... So, what is the best exercise for fat loss? To figure this out, we're gonna need to set some boundaries. What I mean by that is not everyone can do all the same exercises. So we're gonna have to set some boundaries on what determines the best exercise. We're gonna look at three main things. Number one, convenience. If we pick a sport like rock climbing, not many people have access to a rock wall or rocks outside to go climb. Secondly, we gotta look at efficiency. How hard of an exercise are we gonna be doing? How practical, how convenient, how efficient can these exercises be? Once we get all those down, you're gonna find out what's the best and most convenient and effective exercise for fat loss. As we start to cipher down, figure out what is the most convenient, effective, and practical exercise for fat loss, let me introduce myself. Who am I? My name is Joe Dominic. You might follow me on Instagram, you might know me from TikTok. Whatever the case may be, I probably look like the typical fitness influencer on TikTok. And while I'll try to argue that I'm not, I actually am an in-person personal trainer and also an online fitness coach. Whatever the hell that means, basically, I'm a personal trainer online and in-person. I do actually coach real people and I have been in this industry for about five years now. So I do know a thing or two. Now, let's get into it. So something that's convenient, this has to mean that you don't really need a lot of money, a lot of resources, or a lot of time to go ahead and complete this exercise or this workout. It has to be something you can do when you want to with relative ease. There's a reason why when people want to build muscle, they join a gym. It's because all the equipment is conveniently accessible to you. You can build muscle at home, actually pretty damn easy, but it's not nearly as convenient as just getting up and going to the gym. So that proves that people crave convenience. Also, to show that how important convenience is, there's a reason why we love our food packaged and or in the frozen aisle and we can just heat it up in the microwave. We don't gotta cook. It's quick. Tastes kind of good. It is convenient. So that is the number one factor. And now number two. As I mentioned before, we're looking for effectiveness. For an exercise to be effective, that means that when we perform it, it is getting us closer to our goals. For example, you're looking for the best exercise when it comes to fat loss. Well, fat loss is determined by a calorie deficit. So essentially what you're saying is you want the best exercise for burning calories. So how effective are most exercises for burning calories? Not really that good. <laughs> most exercises actually suck for burning calories. Some of the most popular ones include things like burpees, hit training, swimming, running. And yes, while they are good, performing an hour of those on the most part can burn you around 300 to 500 calories. If you see how easy it is to eat 300 to 500 calories, it's mind boggling how easy that is. That's two to three tablespoons of oil a day. That's two to three cups of milk. That's one to two bags of chips a day. That's about one average American sized bowl of cereal in the morning. It's extremely easy to overeat calories, but it is extremely hard to burn them off. So if we're actually looking overall, exercise is not that effective when it comes to burning calories. It's great for improving cardiovascular health or improving muscular health or muscular size with hypertrophy training, but it really is not that great for burning pure calories. But there is one that is great and we will get to them. And lastly, we have to look at practicality. What that means is, is this exercise practical, easy to do for the average person? It's a little bit different than convenient because convenient is the ability to actually perform. Practicality, the ability for most people to do it. You know, it's convenient to do push-up, but it's not practical for every single person to be able to do push-up. It actually is not, which is a little bit sad. Same thing goes for running. It's very convenient to do running, but it's not practical for the average person to do running who's mostly overweight and has bad joints, bad knees, bad hips, bad ankles. So convenience, efficiency, and practicality. Something that's low cost, something that's not too difficult, something that mostly everyone could do, barring any injuries or setbacks. What is the best exercise for fat loss? The best exercise for fat loss is walking. Now, if you've made it this far, before you turn off the video, because I said walk, listen to why. Walking is an exercise anyone can really do. Barring you are not in a wheelchair or you have any injury to your lower body, the average person, they can walk, not too stressful on the joints. Most people can walk on a flat surface and some can even handle incline. Most people, even those who don't have a lot of cardiovascular health, because the cardiovascular demand for walking is not that high, it makes it pretty effective. One, you're moving your entire body simultaneously. What that means is you're moving your legs one by one at the same pace. Two, it's also relative to your body. So if you are a bigger person, this goes for muscle or for fat, you are going to burn more calories because you're a bigger person. If you're small, you're not going to burn as many calories. It's relative to you. Three, piggybacking on the fact that it's not that cardiovascularly demanding, we can typically do it for a good amount of time. Honestly, if you get some good shoes on and you don't have any injuries or anything like that, and you go for a walk and put on some headphones or a podcast or anything like that, you can walk for a long time without being winded at all. This makes walking extremely effective. So here's the final take home message. While it's definitely not the sexiest or the most fun, if you wanna know what's the best overall, 
for purely burning calories and losing fat, burning calories, being in a calorie deficit, it is walking. You can do it anywhere. You could do it on an incline. That'll increase calorie burn. You do it on a flat surface. Also, walking or getting steps in general doesn't really have to be like dedicated walking sessions. You can be doing stuff around your house, doing chores, walking throughout the grocery store, throughout the mall. Anything that really gets you some steps is technically walking. Now, how many calories does it actually burn? Typically between 40 to 50 calories per thousand steps. So the bigger you are, more calories you burn. That doesn't mean get big just so you can burn more calories walking. But typically it's around 40 to 50 calories or 150 pound person in general. That's probably around 40 to 45 calories. So if you get 10,000 steps in a day, that's between 400 to 450 calories. 10,000 steps is not that bad. That could include one main walk in your day or 10 minute walks after your meals. And then your normal walking throughout the day, going to the bathroom, walking at work, walking the dog, playing with the kids. That all counts. It doesn't have to be a dedicated session. But as you can see, when you combine convenience, efficiency, and practicality, walking is easily number one. Now, is it the best for keeping fat off? No, muscle building will be there. Is it the fastest? No. The fastest is not usually the most convenient, efficient, or practical. But at the end of the day, what matters most is this an exercise you can perform, you individually can perform for a long time. You can stick with. If you cannot, then it does not matter what anyone says. It's a shitty exercise for you. Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The answer is pretty damn obvious. Walking. Walking. Doesn't sound it. Doesn't feel it. Definitely doesn't look it. But it is. If you guys like videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or YouTube. I post a lot of recipes. I post a lot of meal plans. I post a lot of fitness tips, daily fitness tips. And so if you like content like this, if you like content like that, Follow me over there, follow me here, and you'll be seeing more videos like this from me.